Hi there, this is Nellie Deutsch and I'm on Quizlet, one of my favorite tools. I use it regularly with my students. The way I use it is they do the work. In other words, they create study sets based on the work that we do in the class or if it's online that we do virtually. I also do the live in the classroom when there is a classroom, physical classroom, as well as fully online with Quizlet Live. So now you can get a free account. I pay for a premium because I really like uh, Quizlet. It's not that much. But for those of you right now who would like to use it, you get a free access to Quizlet Teacher. Try it out and use it, including live until the end of June. And um, I have a feeling they're going to extend it because we're not really going back that soon in most places. You don't need a credit card. Now, this is really important. If you get a prompt to ask for your credit card details, do not fill it in. You do not have to. So um, if you have a subscription like me, you don't get another one, of course. So uh, let me show you what you can do on Quizlet, this amazing initiative by a learner who wanted to learn French. And this is in fact what he did. Did So I have a lot of classes here. Notice what I have on the left here as a teacher. I have a study planner, my premium content, my settings that I can set up, but that's not really relevant right now. I have sets, now all these sets well, most, I think I have about two sets that I created myself. No need for teachers to do it. Let your students do the work. They learn so much more when they are doing it and not when the teacher is doing it. So let them learn. Let them do the study sets. So you can also have um, folders and organize things by folders or by classes. Notice I've got a few folders here. Classes, I've got eight classes all together. So let me take you to my adult classes called Live Virtual Engagement. So I have this course, online course on Moodle for Teachers, where uh, teachers are able to learn for free and learners are also, anyone's able to learn. Everything on Moodle for Teachers is completely free uh, for your information. This is an eight-week course. It started on April 1st. It's been going on for just about two months now because we're, in um, May right now, 17th of May. You can join, it's not too late, but it's not going to be uh, team-based, but it's going to be self-based, so you work at your own pace. There's energy and a lot of peer learning and other things involved when you work on a team. So these are the members, you can see members. Now, how do you get people to join? There are two ways, one is to get create the class, of course, first of all, and then you simply get a link and you share it with your students and they just join. Or they can ask to join and then you just accept them, but I prefer for them to actually uh, join. I just give them the link. Notice uh, these are some of the study sets that students created. Well, they're actually adults, they're teachers themselves. And um, it's part of um, their presentation. So based on the presentation they give, they create a uh, Quizlet, and then they give the Quizlet live in a live online class, such as Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Congrea, and so on, was IQ. So that's, uh, that's part of the course. And hopefully it's going to be really exciting for them. Okay, so this is a little bit about the course and what we're doing. You can see the various tools that participants um, not just learn about, but actually create classes, give classes to their peers. What else can you do as a teacher? Well, plus here, there's, um, you can see here, it's uh, joining. You can use this on your phone. There's an app and there's that. So let's see the Dots usually mean settings. So let's go there. You can drop a class if you're in the class or if you want to get rid of it, delete it, remove all members, notifications. You can set that up. You can connect this with Google Classroom, which is amazing. Uh, add members. Plus, you just add members, their emails, and you send the invites. Or, of course, you can share the automatic link. 
plus. The plus is always for sets. So you can create a set. This is how students do it. Notice um, these are the sets, I guess, that I created. So I created more than two. Or these are all the sets that I have. I guess these are all the sets and the titles under the sets. So uh, my sets. Okay, so they share it with me. Now, what happens when a student creates a set? They share it with the classroom. So after you create a set, let me go into one set so you'll see what it's like. So this is the, per the person's name. Notice what's here on the right, remove. I'm not going to remove it, but I'm going to go into it. Okay, so there it is. So notice what the options are. Uh, there are flashcards. Students can practice. They can learn. They can write things down, learn to spell. And then there's a test. The best part that I get students to learn through is the match. This is a matching game that they do in class to see how fast they go. So you need to really go fast. You can also hear okay, keyboard shortcuts. Um, so let's go back to you start the game, you click on it, and then uh, it's time. See the time's going and you need to uh, put things together. Okay, so very happy under the weather. Okay, these are expressions, really nice. Like it, love it in fact. Okay, kudos to whoever created that. Next is gravity. Uh, this is a game, it's cute. Get started, you can see what it looks like. It's all very, very fun and game's easy. Let's make it easy. There are also grading options for the teacher. Let's go. Start game. And then notice what happens. You type your answer as soon as it comes down. Cost an arm and a leg. Hmm. I don't know. Oh. Okay, so that's what happens when you don't know. Press escape to skip. All right, you get a chance to skip. Okay, you can also create. Notice there's another one, another expression you have to think of be in your shoes. Very expensive. Correct answer. Okay, you get the prompt connect answer. I notice there's also create right here if you want to create. Okay, the plus is there. So let's go back. Notice the bag here. I can restart that. You notice that, right? And there is the live. Now this is absolutely amazing. As I said, face to face, they love it because they work in teams. So there are two. One is team based, just like on Kahoot, and one is individual. So online, you might want to do individual, not team. It's kind of hard, but it's possible. Even online, it's possible. You can do it in the breakout rooms, but that's a bit complicated. Right. And of course, there's the uh, app for uh, Apple and for the Android. Okay, if you want to see what it looks like, let's try the uh, select the individual. Even the individual, you've got to study hard. You've got um, expressions. You can select this or hit. You can also translate, by the way, there's a translation. And then there's music. I love the music. I don't know, I'm addicted to it. And then this is what the students get. They get the join. Notice the join is at quizlet.live. That's what you give them. You can put this in your live class or in your classroom. Okay, so there's the code. And it's waiting for at least two, because it's individual. Copy the game link. And there's also a code that they can scan. That's it. Uh, let's go back. You've got options here. Music, you can turn it off. So there, I turn it off. But I, as I said, I really like the music. So I turn it on. In the classroom, if you've got a board projector, that really makes it easy. Looks exactly the same. And that's it. Aha! Yes, before I go, notice this icon there. It's really important. This is when you share. And you're going to share the work in your classes, so whatever class you have. And you're also going to share it outside the classroom. So the settings are here, and the share button is there. So I have an option of um, who I'm going to share it. So notice what my options are. I can share it in the Google Classroom, Google Remind, copy the link and share it that way. Share it anywhere if it's public. Next, I'm going to open this up and notice what's here. Really, really important because this is your student's progress. The students. So these are the scores. So you can see the scores, student scores, of course. You can print, you can combine, you can export, embed, and report if something's wrong. So if you go into scores, um, you'll be able to see see um, how long it took each one to do it. 
see how many seconds for the match and the other activities, which is really great for teachers because students can work on their own and you can get the information. They can work at home. They don't or in the classroom. They don't have to be physically with you. You can also view the class progress. So for looking at this, let's view the progress. Okay, so this is my class and I can see how they're doing. Okay, right now they have, oh, okay, there's someone. Well, that's me, I think. You'll see how they're doing. And that's it. Hope this has been of help and you join Quizlet and use it with your students because they're going to love it. Please subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get information about the latest videos that come up and spread the word. Thank you.